Hey, yo, internet, you tune into the Combat Jack show. What's up, Premium? What's going on, Combat? Yo, man, we got we got a um, we got somebody God on damn, the show. Premium, you only got one beer. Yeah, no, no, who, no, no. Who brings one beer you, to the you, party? You got now, more beers for this man? No, no, this, this beer <laughs> was beforehand. This should be laying beer. around since 8 o'clock, Murray. Yo, yo you, you want a beer, man? Sure. Yo, we, yo, yo, can, can we get uh one of the guys out there, one of my guys to get a beer? Thank you. Yo, it's internet. Let's, wa- baby let, let, let's welcome to the internet Combat Jack show, Mr. Keith Murray. What's up, sir? What up, Combat Jim. Jack? Yo, the diabolical. <laughs> yo, let me tell you something, man. I, I got to thank you. Because I got married, um, it's going on 19 years. Oh, for real? And congratulations on all my four kids. Our wedding song was the most beautiful thing <laughs> in the world. Get out of here! I, I swear the to God, version, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, the, that was the, <laughs> it was it was it was it was the most beautiful thing in the world. It was um, you all I need with Meth and Mary. Yeah. Mm. Um. Forever My Lady, Jodeci. Yeah. Um, those was the three main wedding songs. Right. So every time my girl is hot with That's me. Dope. Like every time she's like, nigga, I'm leaving you. <laughs> I start doing the goofy, <laughs> the most beautiful <laughs> Get out of here. Yo, man, what's going on, sir? That's hot. I can start a career at doing weddings. No, I'm, that's, yo, that's a great, it's a great song. You know that's what I'm saying? Hot. It's, 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 it's it, the song was crazy melodic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The beat was dope. So people, and it's, you know what I'm saying? The clean version, the girls want to dance to that it shit. It ain't that dirty. I just yeah. said like a few niggas here and there. Yeah, I man, we, really... what's wrong with niggas? <laughs> yeah. I love niggas. Saying, I love niggas. <laughs> Yo, niggas. Keith, man, what's going on with this battle, man? People are talking about this battle. You and Fred, I've been hearing about this battle for like since last year. What's going on, man? Yeah, well, he dodged the bullet in Atlanta, but October 4th from Brooklyn. He gonna get this full clip. Now tell us about it, man. Tell us about MC War and, and what that whole thing is, man. Well, MC War is a company that approached me. Um, a man in Tut. Actually, this is Tut right here. What's the up, other Tut? Half of the Tut MC is in the War studio company. documenting yeah, they, uh, this momentous interview. They pumped fake that the free throw line in Atlanta, MC War, but they reconciled. What what happened though? Like, well. When I went to the battle, you know, the crowd was coming in, so I went back to the hotel room. Then when I got ready to come there, they told me they didn't have the rest of the monetary to pay me. Right. So, no dough, no show. Right. Is it is it a good purse? It's $20,000. Okay. Yeah. And and what goes to the winner? Is there, is there anything that goes to the winner? Just um, lyrical recognition. We both got paid money. Right. So it ain't like a grand prize. It's right. just to walk away with the title of me annihilating the, uh, Kermit the Frog. Now, now what... I'm confused about is I don't understand the matchup. I don't understand the Keith Murray, Fredro Star matchup. Okay, so I'm chilling at the house, right? Yeah. Doing what I do, writing rhymes, right. killing the crew. Listen to the radio. The phone starts to ring. The ring. Hello, <laughs> Keith Murray. Yeah, what up? Yo, what up? This is uh, a man tight. I got your number from a mutual friend. Um, we put on battles, and we want to know: Would you be willing to battle Black Rob? Right now, that I said, Black is the Rob? crazy yeah. <laughs> battle. We, like, not, and this is not. I'm not taking my homeboy Black Rob. I'm not taking anything away from anything because yeah. because you can never discount a man. And Fredro might have. And them. don't sleep on because you know they got a lot of ghostwriters now. That's true. Fredro and his, all his <laughs> crew is going. I mark my words. He, he ain't writing that battle by himself. He's floating in the ring. He's floating in the ring. He's going to get people because they know. <laughs> Remember, he dodged the clip. Right. I was ready in Atlanta. They he seen d- it. He dodged the clip. He dodged the bullet. Right. Mm. I had a, I, I was caught. Did he show up to the, the li- spot? Yeah, he was there. Right. One was in the chamber. Right. It was going to be a dead head shot. Right. Lyrically. Right. But then a year passed because it didn't happen. And I just had the whole, I got the whole full clip you right use now. You using the same bullets or you using different bullets? I had to change it up a little okay, bit because time okay. went by, I got bored with it. Right, 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 but right, right. But the thing about it is, right, I'm going to get back to the Black Rob thing first because right. we're going to jump around. I'll be here all night talking to you. How much time I got? Whatever time, much time we you talking, want. We talking, we right, talking. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, premium, feel free to jump in. <laughs> so they said, yo, <laughs> Black Rob. I'm like, word, Black Rob? That's my homeboy. But this is interesting. 
And they said he was willing to do it. Right. So I can't be like, nah, I'm not battling. I'm a battle rapper. Right. I've been a battle rapper. Friends, rap from, family, yeah, anybody. I wake up with a good argument. I right. can never lose a good <laughs> argument. You know what I'm saying? My two grandmothers, Buddha and Dolly May, they're the matriarchs of the family, 77 and 81. Wow, God bless. <laughs> God bless. But one of the things you did with battle rapping is you actually made battle music, which battle rappers can't do, really. I'm glad you said that because I've been seeing commentation like, Keith Murray, Fredro said I was an R and B rapper. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here! Wait, wait, here. Fredro said you was an R and B rapper. The man said Keith Murray's an R and B rapper. He fucking with you, man. He, he fucking with them. He fucking with his own mind. <laughs> I know I'm a, the most beautiful gift fly. I'm the remix <laughs> special guest R and B. It's gonna game. be a party tonight. It's gonna so, be so, a massacre, y'all. So what? So what happened with Rob? So they, yeah, let me get back to that. I, I just jump around <laughs> a lot. So we in there. But back to the story because we was. Uh, Interrupted by some technical difficulties. That's right. So uh, he come in here tripping, yes. knocking. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. the beer. God damn. <laughs> Don't come back till you got that beer. No, he's not. Yo. <laughs> so, yo, Black Rob. So I was like, all right, this is interesting. I'm with it. You That's know whoa. me. I ain't going to back down from a good confrontation. Right. That's whoa. I really don't know him for combat, and I know him for ripping your torso. Right. But that's as far as I heard on that. But then they was like, call me back. So I was waiting, sitting, like, okay, you know, I was, my brain started clicking. Then they called me back and said, yo, Black Rob won't do it. I was like, oh, word? Mm. Mm, okay. Fredro want to do it. Fredro. Now, what was your initial I thoughts? said, who? Fredro. They said, you know Fredro from- From the Godfather? I, I said, oh, <laughs> you from the Moesha show. <laughs> So I was like, well, you willing to uh, step in that b ring with a bear? Right. Me and Fredro was cool. Right. So I was you, like, you was cool with him since back in the in the in the Death Squad and the in the, the Onyx days, right? Yeah, Death Jam, the um, Survival of the Illest Tour. We right. became cool, but we never like hung out like like hung out as partners and right. homeboys and kicked it like me and Biggie or something. You know right, what right, right, right. So, I was like, I if he with it, they called him on the phone, he was with it. And I was like, this is going to be disgusting. Right. We friends, I don't know how much longer we going to be friends after this battle. Now, I've heard you say, particularly on the great interview you did with The Breakfast Club about, you know, it's just like when you battle rap, like a true battle rapper, there's really no, other than keeping your distance and not touching the, your opponent, uh, there's no limits in terms of how disrespectful you can no, get it. Is no. that is that true or? Yeah, it's true. I expect him to be disrespectful because I'm gonna be disrespectful. Right. And I can't get mad and be like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck him up after this battle. That's out of the question. That would never happen in any battle with Keith Murray in a million years. Right. And I'm willing to battle anybody because I like to do it. I just haven't had the opportunity to do it. Now coming up, you battle. You that that was how you came up, right? Yeah. I'm from uh, Roosevelt, Long Island, right. Central Isle of Long Island, and Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Right. So that's MC all Keith we Keith. had. <laughs> Keith MC Keith, Keith, right, Keith right. right? He going into my, yeah. he going into my past. <laughs> I'm bringing up my past like that. Come back, Jack. Yo, but who who were some of the people that you battled back in the day that we might know of? Well, I didn't battle Big Daddy Kane. Right. I had the great opportunity of being around Kane a few times because God bless the dead, my uncle born true from Brooklyn used to have me and my cousin, God bless the dead, Drift. Mm -hmm. He's he's my age. He used to have us around Kane all the time. So I had the pleasure of, it was like a battle because Kane was, it was, he was rapping after right. the concert. It right. was Kane's birthday. It was his birthday. Went to a diner. Right. So everybody was rhyming and then Uncle Bo was like, Keith, go ahead, go ahead. Then, and you know, it was you're not it gonna was say no words war right. and then we rhymed. Kane was like, How old are you? I was sixteen at the wow. time. Wow. So that was that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I respect for Kane. I won't say it's a battle, but if you look at it, it was sparring a little bit. Right. Let me ask you something. Is that the same event where um Ill from Ill and Al Scratch ambushed Kane and battled him? No. Nah. It's cause I, I I knew one at one of his birthday parties, Ill. It was at a, a diner right. over there in Kanashi. Right. That's where we was at. But then my Uncle Boyne used to take me around Brooklyn all over, okay. every barrow. So who's some of the cats you battled, man? Like, what, in, on the streets? Yeah, in, on the streets. Like, no names? No, Like, n no names, yeah. I didn't even know who they were. Okay. I just was going like, oh, where's he at? On the roof? Right, we right, going to right, the roof. right, right, right. What is Siphon? In the basement? Right. Oh, he in the basement. <laughs> oh, he on the fourth floor? Go to the fourth floor. 
Go to this project, Albany projects. Go ahead. Then I was in CI a lot in Roosevelt. Right. One time I was battling. I battled in the park. Some guard, uh, Supreme Rahim or somebody, <laughs> murdered him. Central Islip murdered everybody on that Carlton Avenue. Direct Low Avenue murdered them. We used to just go around seeing who rhymed, where the ciphers was at. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I miss those days, man. Word. Back in those days, I remember. Like Jay, you got used, me hype right now. Jay used to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying Jay used to look for a battle all the time. Yeah. And you know who else? The last time I remember, DMX. Not DMX. Um, my son. Oh, word. remember when? Did you know my son from was a crazy street battler? And I remember one time. I kind of heard about that. Yeah, this is this is what got him his deal at Def Jam, and then he got locked up. But he I'm, was signed to Def Jam. He was signed to Def Jam. Oh, I remember I one know. time. He was trying to, I forgot if it was Shine or somebody. Puff put money up. He was like, whoever wins this battle gets the deal. Oh, and I forgot what happened. But niggas used to battle for deals. Yeah. I've seen him at the the battles a lot in the right. background and right. stuff. Yeah. And I've seen him doing some records on the internet. So coming up. He in, did a commentation, right, Todd? He was a commentator? Now, my my son, internet. If y'all don't know, man, do unorthodox style. Do your Googles, man. Like on 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 the battling tip, my son is is very slept on, man. Yeah. Um, so coming up, man, particularly in Long Island, man, you did you battle like somebody like a Craig Mack? Like, did you have beef with Craig Mack? How would you know about that? Come on, man. This is a combat jack. Come on, show, combat jack. Nah, we used to chase Craig Mack. I'm from a crew named LOD. Right. We from Central Iceland. He from Brentwood. We used right. to see him, chase him. Throw LOD, and him. LOD stands for? Legion of Doom. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Co comic book dudes? The Legion of Doom. It's more like... Um, wrestlers? The, the, the real life wrestlers. Right. A group of young men who gave themselves a name. They call <laughs> us a game, but it's the Legion of Doom. Right. Street game. Don't fuck with them. Well, we all grew up now, so, you know, everybody spread it apart. Some is dead. Some is in jail. Some um, legal taxpayer citizens, <laughs> some still in street packing heat, and you don't want to fuck with them. Dudes. But but what was it about Craig that 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 y'all used to chase him around? Just crossed our path, right? You know what I'm saying? And he rapped, I rapped. Right. And he was, you can't fuck with Murray. What? Right, right, go right, get right, Murray. Right, 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 go right, get right, Murray. Right, right, right. I mean, we used to go to parties. They used to be like, nah, the mic is shut down. He can't get on. Damn. Boop 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 boop. No Damn. more parties. Damn. Word. Look, I got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um. But but coming up like in in the battles and stuff like that like let's talk about like Craig like did Craig get on before you got on? He yeah he had a record called Zoom 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 right Zoom 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 Zoom, 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 zoom. But me and Craig Mack became friends right yeah he got on and then I went we got on around the same time like really uh, top of the food chain professionally right because he, he went he went to he went to Bad Boy and you went to. To, to E in the whole nine. Man. Funny because Alvin Tony knows us both. Right. Uh, the bodyguard for EPMD. Right. So he took Craig over there and I asked K Solo. He's K Solo from Central Island, Long Island. Right. And EPMD was from Brentwood. From Brentwood. Door. Right. And Eric's mother moved to CI. So I seen K Solo. He used to come to the block all the time. He used to bring Red Man to the block. Anytime we see Solo, we run up on him. Yo, Murray, yo, Murray, get ahead. Spit that shit. Spit. Blah, 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 in it out. So Solo was like, I said, yo, could you take me to Eric's house? He was like, yeah, meet me over there on low. So I went over there. I seen him, met him. He took me to E house. Like, this is this is when they, right before the third album came out? Or, I mean, the fourth album? This was right before the breakup. The, so, the, so the last album, Business As, wait, was it Business As Usual was the last album before the breakup? If I remember oh, correctly. I, I can't remember, but if I look at all the albums, I can tell you which one is right. that comes after each right. one. Right. Okay. So you were getting put on with the with the EPMD dynasty. You must have been amped. Well, I wanted to get put on with the hit squad. Right. But it didn't work out like right. that. I would used to go to Eric's house and he would play beats and I would rap. I haven't got on the microphone for two years when I was going back and forth to E House. Right. Then I made a demo, and he used to play the demo for them, and they was like, yeah, he's all right. Uh, who, who, he's who, who, used to be, who used to be like, he's all right? Dos Effects. Oh, they was Paris, hating? They was hating. And then I used to follow the tour bus. Right. And watch them. And in, the, in the hoopty. In the hoopty, right. yeah. I used to be watching them and shit. Then E got into it with the situation, went to Atlanta. I, I was at the, at the uh, Carlton Avenue, going to school, selling drugs. Then I bumped into Alvin Tony. He took me to Paris Smith. Right. 
They put me in the car, and Paris was like, yo, so we're going to get the contracts tomorrow. Hey, we're but you knew, was, you knew the split was coming through, right? You knew the breakup was yeah, happening. Yeah, when I was at E House, we was in the music room. I looked out the window. It was a white dude, a heavy set white dude. I was like, yo, that's police, a detective. He was like, no, nah, that's a realtor. I'm buying a new house. <laughs> I was like, no, that's, that's Sergeant, Sergeant fuck Big you up. <laughs> Face from the third precinct. Right. That's a cop, he a DT, detective. He went out. He went, he said, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, come to the precinct, ask, some, uh, ask a few questions, you'll you be out. Right. Lying. He pat his pocket, was like, all right, let me get my keys, my coat, my keys. And he had a gun on him. Mm. He went in the house, but I didn't go outside. Right, right. You, he wasn't seeing my face. Right, you wasn't trying no, to have no, none no, of that no, shit, no. right? He knows me from Carlton Avenue, yeah, you, from <laughs> assaults and all yeah, of that. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he gave me the gun. He went to the precinct. I just put the gun somewhere. And then I left after the smoke cleared. And then I didn't see E for a whole year after that. Damn. Day. He went now, to now, not trying to get in their business, but some shit went down. Like some some yeah. some gun shit went down. Yeah, some gun shit went down. That's crazy. But that's man. public knowledge now because yeah. it's on the beef DVD. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it, it is not only in their business. Everybody knows. So you had to pick sides. Nah, I knew E. I didn't know Parrish. Right, but but Parrish, who was part of the team that was like this nigga's not E. All right, was you surprised when he was trying to sign you then? If he didn't say yo. Um, I'm going to get the contract tomorrow. You're going to sign the contract? I would have did records with them. Right. Yeah. But it's a difference between Eric doing records yeah, and but, signing. No, I wasn't signing. So he no put the record. pressure on you. Nah, he just was in the car. Right. And I was rapping. Right, right. For him and Alvin Tony. Right, I'm right. in the back seat on the passenger side. Then he was like, yeah, so we're going to get the contracts. I was like, yeah, right, nigga, you crazy. I'm going back to the block. Right, 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 right. I'm not signing no contract. I'm looking for Eric Sermon. Fuck like Eric Sermon that. <laughs> well, he it was, Eric had dipped, right? Yeah, because I'm. it won't be right. I'm a loyal person. Right. It won't be right for me to sign a contract with Paris Smith. Right. And I've been with Eric for two years. Right, 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 right. Talking, right. building a relationship, getting to know him, and then he was in Atlanta. Then when he came back, I did Hostile with him, mm. did the video, and then it started happening. Yo, people, explain to the internets, man, and the audience how slept on or how the history books have tried to forget how amazing Eric Sermon is as a producer, man. Uh, Eric Sermon is a a, a musical genius. Mm -hmm. And um, he slept on, but the real people know. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at him, I'm like, yo, he's up there with the top producers Mm -hmm. that Everybody know and regard as the top three now. You know what I'm saying? Eric is the top 1.2. Mm. He ain't Dr. Dre. He's just as better than Dr. Dre. Damn. And you've seen him at work. All day, every day. My whole life for 20 years. Yeah. yeah he changed my life. Right. And, I, and, and so when he decided to sign you, man, like you was caught up in the streets. I was actually going to college. Right. But I was, I lived, every house I lived at was like on the corner by the main drag, and I was always going outside doing dirt, sneaking right. around, hanging out on the corner. My moms would come through there, and I would have to hide in the woods and stuff. <laughs> Yo, what, what, my grandma. Why you hiding would, from your moms, B? Because she would be coming to the store or coming through from the shopping center, right? And it's the main drag so on you, front street. And you was doing selling you, drugs, hiding right, in the right, woods, right. running the cars, selling twenties, then going uptown. Reing up, cooking it, going to sell the drug dealers. Now, did you have to do that, or did you just like doing shit like that? I could have went and got a job, right. but it was like, it, you you get used to it. Right. Like, I'll be like, yo, I'm not going to the block today. I'm staying away from there. But <laughs> you find yourself- That should be calling right you, key. And, word. and it's a And it's a fast deal. routine, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've been, I've been there, so I know it's a fast routine that you get used to. Like, yeah. people don't understand unless you get into it's it. It's a bad not, habit. Yeah, it is. Very bad. Yeah. But then I was going to college, because my grandmother was like, hanging up there on that corner- you ain't really making no money. You ain't living in here. You gonna do something with your life. Right. You ain't gonna be around here thinking you're gonna be slick, doing nothing, building no future. Which every which, day which, in the which grandmother was this one? Buddha. Right. And you and you and like you From, said she moved down south, but Dolly made two in Roosevelt. Right. Same exact thing. And you had mad respect for your grandmother. Still do. And the and they knew what game was. Yeah. Now what's crazy? Five uncles, 
four uncles, right. three aunts on both sides. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Coming out. They some of them lived the life of rally and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I just was another product of that environment and they they was not having that. Right. Internets, this portion of the Combat Jack show is brought to you by FanDuel. Listen, the second week of the football season, and I'm so pissed off that my team, the Giants, lost to the whack ass Cowboys on some bullshit weak ass plays last week. This weekend, it's not gonna happen. There's an explosion going on right now in the consciousness of sports with fantasy football. Everyone is playing, and this is the best way to do it. Fantasy football is not just for the huge sports nuts. Pause. This is for everybody, every man, every woman. Anyone and everyone can play on FanDuel. FanDuel is the leader in one-week fantasy football with more winners and more payouts than any other site. They're paying out over $75 million a week this football season. Building a team is easy. Just pick your players, stay under the salary cap, and sit back on Sunday or Monday or Thursday, and watch your team win. Entry fees start at just a dollar. Anyone can play. Have you built your team for week two? Let me know who's on your on your squad on Twitter at, at combat underscore jack and use hashtag FanDuel is back. Go to FanDuel.com and click the microphone in the upper right-hand corner. Use my promo code COMBAT, C-O-M-B-A-T, and sign up right now. Special offer for new users. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it with up to $200 that gets earned as you play. That's a bonus of up to $200. The offer is only good for the first 50 people that use my code COMBAT, C-O-M-B-A-T, today. Don't forget to use my promo code COMBAT. That's FanDuel, F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Sign up today. And now back to the show. So was you like the the black sheep, or you was or you was one of the black sheep man, of what of, of the family? Nah, I was the first grandson born, the right. first son for my father. So you was my a golden child, a senior. Yeah, I'm Keith Omar Murray Jr. Right. There's no black sheep in my family. Another thing is this though, Keith, man. Like your your vocabulary is is extensive. And it I, is? And yeah, I mean, and come on, stop Get playing. <laughs> come on, man. Nah, you talking about the bubonic plague? Niggas don't. Niggas don't put that shit in their raps. And think about how many years ago that was. Yeah, like, come on, stop playing. Now you, now you fake being humble. Cause you right know now. why? I'm just original. Right. I'm don't really don't have that much of vocab, extensive vocabulary than the average, um, analytical thinker. Right. But when see, you, even right there, the average analytical. Mm. Thing. <laughs> yeah, but when you dumb it down, right. you belittle the culture. And the integrity of the black man mm. to ignorance. If he don't have a vocabulary to my extent, you right. know what I'm saying? I read a lot. I've read a lot. I heard the education. So, And you was a great student. Yeah. I um, you used to love school. I still do right. love education. And I encourage young youth to uh, get their education and don't, you know, chase the streets or music industry without having some type of solid foundation. Right. Music is a B plan. You know, I tell them that all the time. What you was what was your favorite make, subject, man? Oh, uh, science and um English. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, wh- who inspired you to do the rap though professionally, man? My uncle T-Roy, the original B-boy from Roosevelt. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I got five uncles. So, coming up in the late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s. I watched them. I'm the kid when they getting fresh to go outside. They had the Adidas, the Iron in their shit. Mm. The sheep and they dog. always would buy me stuff right. to have me fresh too. And right. I used to be like, I used to see them leaving, walking down the block. I used to be like, where y'all gonna go into a party? He was always a rapper. Mm. So he's constantly rapping. I'm like, yo, how you do that? I was like 10, 9, like. And it was a way out for me to do something else besides play sports and go to school. Right. It always gave me, like, freed my mind, you know what I'm saying? Instead of um, always going outside and getting in trouble. Before I was going outside and getting in trouble, I was writing rhymes. Right. My grandmother would listen to it. So that's why I had, like, more of a clean style because I couldn't say foul, vulgar mm. words. You can rely on fuck shit, motherfucker, nigga. Nah, yeah, I had you... to go somewhere else. Right. <laughs> um, and plus... I was always listening to Mr. Magic and Red Alert. Mm. The Educated Rapper, UTFO, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Funky 4 Plus One More, Run DMC, mm. uh, Grandmaster Fast Furious 5, LL Cool J, LL cool J King, Tim, King Tut the Third. Yep. 
King Tim the Third. King I always Tim the, say that. Yeah. And and, and what's crazy? G. What's crazy? They though, didn't use those cuss words. Right. It was for lack of these. When they say you curse, it's for lack, lack of, of vocabulary. Yeah, lack of better words. Yeah, but but the thing is, man, and, and pe- people also wasn't really up on how how flourishing the Long Island rap scene was like. Niggas was rapping out there. Yo, and to this day, niggas is still sleeping on Long Island. Like, they mad at J. Cole now because he was like, yo, it was a nigga. Nigga asked me to listen to the song. It was whack. Whack as I heard. The nigga was from Long Island. Like, Long Island is just like Virginia, buddy. Right, and right. it might be even worse. Right. Did you take offense at, at that shit, what J. Cole nah, said? Nah, listen to it. Right. I don't really think he dissed Long Island like that. Right. He dissed the nigga that was from Long Island. Mm-hmm. So my people from Long Island was like, no, he dissed the nigga from Long Island because he think Long Island niggas is weak. And right. I was like, oh, you might be right. But I didn't really take it to offense when I first heard it. Right, 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 right. But, like, niggas from Queens, Brooklyn, the Bronx, they don't know I'm from Brooklyn, too. So, like, they all be like, Long Island is weak. Like, I did six months in Rackens Island. Right. It was only me and one other nigga from the, in the whole six building. Yeah, I, I ain't never Island. seen any Long Island dudes in Rikers. <laughs> they in there. Very few, to, maybe from Wine Dance when you go up uh, upstate, but exactly. that's it. Long Island ain't got no clout in, 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 in jail. I, don't I, ran, see I ran through that motherfucker with a fine tooth comb. <laughs> but that's a good thing. That means that y'all ain't getting in fucking jail. Y'all staying out there doing your thing. Well, a lot of them. Riverhead and Yadpink is filled to the rim. Yeah, but you got like crazy, like like mini old, you may have like crazy white people throwing rocks off a fucking bridge or something like, you know? Like you got that's different a possible... a lot of niggas upstate from Long Island. They shipping things out all the time. Mm. Them buses is packed. <laughs> Do you but, like Rikers Island? But it's less people. I, I, you gotta ask him if he you like it. Rikers Island? You, you, you were there six yeah. months. I was in Suffolk County Jail. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You liked? And nobody likes being incarcerated. Right. Yes. But if you are incarcerated, right. you don't want to be in Suffolk County Jail right. or Nassau because you get locked in and crazy. Rikers Island, you go outside in the morning time, walk around all day. Dips. CO pull-ups. take you out of the cell, let you go down there. They got programs. Yo, this is crazy. Commissary. Day room. Commissary is incredible. Yo, you go downstairs. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say this. Let me say this. Boxes and shit. The baked chicken on Sunday. Oh my goodness. The halal <laughs> line is it's incredible. It's the most beautiful thing in the oh world. Yo, like y'all, a, y'all niggas is crazy. Yo, did you ever get the... Suffolk County. Records out like the feds, Joe. Did you ever get the, the honey bun, the William Perry what? refrigerator? The peanut butter what? Butter in it? Oh my God. <laughs> Are you crazy? Y'all look, y'all, y'all look like y'all talking about church. <laughs> Wait, shit. It's a nice place to visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to live there. Yo, um, yo Keith, man, your, your <laughs> reputation... Exceed you, man. In terms of a cat that was nice with your hands, man. Like, what was it, man? Was it was it that you had a? That's a, a myth. I know it was fighting. St- nigga, like, stop, combat. stop playing. That's why I like this show because it was said Combat Jack, and I was like, damn, I love Combat. <laughs> yo, nigga, you, you I mean, seriously? Did you have a hot temper? Or was you looking for shit, man? Like, looking for trouble, man? What are you talking about? I Come never on. got... I never Stop. See, to my rep... Like Stop. you said, my reputation... Your reputation. Supersedes Supersedes you. you. Right. So, it was always a myth. Right. Because I was making records like, yo, quick the fuck you up. Then in the video, spit out the razor blade. And then niggas So, niggas would want to test you. I, no. I never get into shit. All right. So, Prodigy... Well, that was something different. I did <laughs> give Prodigy a two piece in the right, biscuit. Right. But that was because I thought that he I had start, to. Right. Dame Dash. I never start nothing, but I always finish strong. Dame, Dame Dash. I never started that. Right. Dame Dash is a cool person. I know Dame Dash probably. This nigga's still talking about when I got hit in the eye with the bottle at the uh, Maria Davis Club. Yo, the, keep action. That's crazy, man. I thought Dame was a boxer. Well, it's he, hard. To, it's hard to box champagne bottles, man. <laughs> and back in the nineties, niggas used to get popped. You know, like a, a boxer can box, but when he get in the ring with a tough guy, kickboxer, jujitsu, a guy that a grappler, mm, it's kind of mm. more different. It's like you know what I'm saying. You only got one technique: your hands. You got the feet, the arms, the grappling, the. It's a, it's a whole it, different science. It's, it's, a different, different it's a different subject. Elbows at the own. It's a different yeah, science, totally man. Different. I Yo, was a wrestler in school. Really? Yeah, and a soccer player. A wrestler. Player. Like you used to wear that little one piece shit? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite move was the cross face. Really? Was you yeah. nice? Was you like all state? I defeated. I got tied once. Right. 
Yeah, I I stopped wrestling and went to basketball and went to all state all league. Right, yo, that re- did you? That wrestling's not fun though. Did, or you really like it? It was wonderful. Really? Nah, I don't like. I don't like wrestling. Just putting their balls on their sh- on your shoulder nah, and all nah, of that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah you real, see, real men right. don't think of it like. Of that. course, real men is like combat, but it's still it's combat. Jack. Yeah, but no, no, no. Because when I was in high school, my first year, I got into wrestling for like the, like one time. I did one session, yeah. and I had to put that outfit on. That shit was creaking up my ass. Like, I'll never forget. Like, I feel like I was wearing spandex. I didn't like, do it in like, high school. I did it in junior high school. Right, right, right. High school, I, 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 had quit, I had to quit, man. I had to quit, man. That shit, I got a wedgie without even someone touching yeah, me. I couldn't play <laughs> basketball and wrestle at the same time, so I had to choose. And right. then I got good at basketball. Right, right, right. Yo, were you surprised, man, when you started getting rap money? Nah, because I was always getting money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did have, like, two jobs, kind of think of it. But this was when I was younger. I had to go to work to... Uh, at the corner store, and then I worked for like a couple of weeks to get to play basketball secrets for basketball, cause I had I really was I couldn't get in no trouble and stuff. So. Right. What sneakers did you buy? I bought the um the uh the purple and gold um Magic Johnson. Oh, okay. That was the color of my um school uniform. Right. <laughs> Keith, you got you got kids, man. Yeah, I got children. How many children you got? I ain't gonna put my business out. Right, 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 right. Because, because it's children. hard to imagine. I'm always with my children. Really? I have girls. You have girls. Yeah. How's fatherhood, man? It's beautiful from birth to um the stomach to nine months progress to birth to waking up every two hours, four hours, feeding them, and they growing and talking and walking and they scholars. They're very intelligent and smart. It's crazy, man. With girls, man, you just got you just gotta listen, right? Well, um, I'm from a big family, right? And I'm kid oriented, so I listen and I talk. And but you know the mothers, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, I mean that's you know since. Since since the sun since cheaper the sun came up, them. yeah, it's cheaper to cheaper keep them. Right? My grandmother told me it's cheaper to keep them. It, that that's the line. It, it's amazing how much. <laughs> you see, I, you, your song kept me married. Yeah. Yo, I want to say that it's amazing how much it transcends the most beautiful thing in the world. Because I even think of like when Jay Z had his kid and he made Glory, mm-hmm. and then he was like, the most beautiful thing in the world is Daddy's little girl. Yeah, but yeah, when, you know, yeah. and you could tell he got inspiration from what you were saying. But like, yeah. you know, when I look at my kids, you know, and I think of that line, like you know, Con. I was talking about getting married to it. I'm talking right. about like, you know, my kids are everything to me. The most beautifulest thing in the world, man. Yeah. So it's amazing how much inspiration they had, yeah. especially with kids, especially Definitely. with daughters. Definitely. Yo, Keith, when you and move- I got a battle coming up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, the competition and the opposition, they listen to your interviews to get stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's ah, a subject that yes. I wouldn't like for them to disrespect. Right. But, you know, I got to take it because I heard another rapper tell another rapper, yo, I have your daughter R. Kelly, my R. Kelly, your daughter's face when she was young. I'm like, that's murder material. You yo, like, that would, shit, you, like, would, what the would fuck? you ever cross the line if somebody did some shit? I'm like, older now. Right. If I was 25 years old, right. mm-hmm. say goodnight. Say goodnight to the world. Right. I'm older now and I, I'm up for the battle, so. You know what I'm saying? You I'm up for whatever point. comes for the battle. Yeah, I'm giving points. What do, you, so. what do you think when you like see something like, oh, you think I'm styling on you see you think I'm styling on you and niggas lose it in battles? What do you think about people who don't have discipline in battles, man? That right there is when you're dealing with um young kids who have no self control and it's really in the streets. Mm-hmm. It's not really like on the level of where the battles are now, but you know, I did see some a high level top of the food chain fights at a battle. Right. We ain't gonna say what, but you know, you get discarded from the field. This is work too. Right. And you can't come to work putting your hands on people. It's fucking everybody's money 2015, up. 2015, 16, zero tolerance for violence. Yo, you sound like a politician right now, man. <laughs> Over, baby. Keith Murray for governor. <laughs> Yo, yeah, zero I need tolerance. To be the governor. I need to be the mayor. <laughs> Yo, so I can change some things around here. Let's be sure. Before, before we get Speaking into this. Speaking of which, yeah, uh, Hillary Clinton for president. You running for Hillary? Well, you vote my for Hillary? paperwork ain't right. You know, okay. I can't vote. But right. if I could, 
You'd vote for Hillary. Hillary. A lot of people's mad at her. Like, this is the person you would vote for. Look at Bill Clinton. He admitted putting a lot of people, messing up a lot of black people's lives and putting them in prison. Hillary Clinton's a liar. She got the uh, whole Watergate thing. Now she's doing the, the internet emails, fraud. The Benghazi the, and all that. Yeah. She, she's a liar. But who else will you vote for? You know what, man? She. I mean, I don't even want to get into politics, but Hillary is kind of scary. Cause, cause, cause it's she is, you know, you know what I'm saying. Who else like, would you vote for? Donald I mean, Trump? I, no, I'm not. Like, but I'm gonna tell you this, and I've been saying another this. Democrat. He I've been, I've been, I've been saying this on Twitter, particularly today, man. Like the consciousness of America is so low, the intelligence of America is so low that I would, and I'm saying this sarcastically. There's a lot of people out there that are zombies. This, but you, I'm not gonna say I agree with you because I got a lot. of of people that's not ignorant, right? And they're out there, right? No, but the majority of them, sheeple, man, a sheeple, <laughs> right? I and and, and because of the way these motherfuckers have set the bar so low, I say this kind of like disgustingly, like this country deserves a president like Trump. You know, you you know what I'm saying? <sighs> like I don't, I'm not, I'm not endorsing him, I'm not voting for him, but I'm saying. You see how many people like him? He's at the top of his... Yeah, but that's let's just let, in the beginning. Let's let them have him. Yeah, that's in the beginning. Yeah. When it gets ready to really, you know, like... Let's like, have him. It's cute in the beginning, you know? Yo, one more question. Oh, I want to start debating and the people start breaking his ass down. Yo, I was watching the debates today, like, because of the, the, the Republican debates are mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Donald Trump and I'm a billionaire. I was like, ah, let me go, let me go to this <laughs> fucking Keith Murray interview. I don't even want to watch this shit. But one, one more question, man. I grew up in Crown Heights. Where would you move to in Crown Heights? When prospect. Was, prospect and what? Ralph and Buffalo. Okay. Oh, damn. That's the hood, mm, B. Mm, mm. Yeah, the court building. That's the hood. The court building. Nigga, building. I grew up on Lincoln between Albany and Troy. Oh, forget yeah. about it. Heineken. Heineken's in the building. I, yo, I, I, it turned up. Damn, I thought you went to Eisenhower Bush with these <laughs> Now, I, I grew up on, on Lincoln Place between Albany and Troy, yeah, which is not too far. I'm, I'm going to take one, yeah. Albany and Troy, yeah, right yeah. down the street. Damn, so that shit was hood hood. That's where I was mainly battling no. every day, everywhere. So was you battling like right niggas like like, like Mary Hospital? Like 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 uh, Trigger the Gambler and Smooth the Hustler? Because them niggas was like around around that. I don't know. I might have battled right. them. I don't know. Right, that's crazy. I used to be with um, Blitz from the Decepticon okay. all the time. Okay, so you was wrong with them Decept niggas. My cousin... Knockout was a decep. God bless the dead. <laughs> mm. Did you ever cross paths with the late great Sean Price? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. That was my homeboy. God yeah. bless the dead. That was that, my homeboy. That's crazy. Yo, one more question, man. Who was who's the uh Razor Cons, man? Oh, that was my crew. That was the spinoff from the Decepticons. So who's what was the Razor Cons about, man? We carried the RS box cutters everywhere. Right. And we just went looking for trouble, cutting people braids out their hair. Yo. Cutting what? pockets. Yeah, because we couldn't, I couldn't be in the Decepticon. So I was like, why you know you what? In, why couldn't you be in the Decepts? Because my cousin was, I was a little bit too young, and they was just too mad, older, and wild. Right. My my other cousin, LBM, was running with them. They was busting guns. We we wasn't really busting guns. Right. So we had to say, you know what? I'm going to be younger and wild. We're spinoff. We're spinoff. <laughs> I'm razor taking tags. it to Long Island. Yo. The Razor Cons. Yo, do you miss them days, man? I mean, Hell honest, no. now you don't miss them days? Oh, I love where I'm at. I believe you all where you at, right. at where you need to be. Right. Mm. I wouldn't trade anything or give it up. I know that's a corny cliche. No, nah, that's not. I can't. Right. I believe in that. You know what I'm saying? And it made me to who I am. At this point, I would trade something. Right. Indulging in recreational drugs. Right. You know, you, you can't develop those habits. Yeah, yeah, jail yeah. Jail saved me. Every time I was doing, going, I'd be going to jail for, I was either drunk or high. That's so stupid. That shit used to fuck you up, right? Yeah, weed, cocaine, yo, listen. dust, this shit fucks yo, you up. Yo, dust is crazy. I, yo, yeah, I, you, I, I, you know, I, I, I make this caveat on the combat, Joshua, because I'm an older cat. Nigga, I used to love cocaine in the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> Highly addictive. But, but you gotta leave that cocaine alone. That dust on my nigga. Like, can you feel yeah, your toes on dust, nigga? If you overdo it, like we all scientists. Right. And if you experiment, you can have a bad experiment. Yeah. What was the what was the worst experience, man? I did some dumb shit, drove and went to jail. Did you on dust? I didn't even do nothing. I smoked and I was going to my uncle's 50th party. So I said, you know what? I got the car. I'm not supposed to be driving. Right, because your license. I'm going to get a haircut. Right, right. 
I called my man, like, yo, I got the car. Let's go get some smoke. Let's get some wet. I went out E, smoked some like an idiot. I said, you know what? I'm going to go in this parking lot and get some cocoa butter. Right. I go in the parking cocoa lot. Cocoa butter? Yeah. For cocoa what? Butter. I use cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. For your I elbows? Like cocoa butter. Yeah, okay. but were you dusting? Because I had to go to the store. Wait, okay. you had to, okay. wait. And I needed some cocoa butter. For your elbows? To get fresh and put cocoa butter on. <laughs> I ran out. So I went over a little tiny ass snow hill in the parking lot. It was a cop right there looking at me. Right. He pulled up behind me. And I got out the car because I didn't have a license. I was like, yo, listen. <laughs> it was a young dude. He right. was like, oh, shit, Keith Murray? I, I was like, yeah. <laughs> the cops said Keith Murray. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere I go, they know Keith yeah. Murray. <laughs> I'm in the airport taking a shit, and I'm on the phone. Somebody like, that sound like Keith Murray. I'm like, oh. Uh, yeah. Bloop. It didn't smell like Keith Murray. <laughs> they said that Keith Murray. I said, no, yeah. and I'm taking a shit. <laughs> yo, so the, the cops said Keith Murray. And, 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 I was like, listen, I don't have no license. Right. He was like, all right, cool. Your eyes are red. Have you been smoking? Right. I was like, I wasn't smoking nothing. He said, like, you got a license? And now nah. he's like, all right, I'm going to have to run you in. You ain't got no warrants. Come on, I'm man. I'm going to have to take a blood test. Oh, my God. I said, you're not drawing blood from me. Right. You, were you refusing the test? Yeah, I'm refusing the test. Because right. if you took my blood... I would have been high. That shit would have been all types of colorful. Man, that was it. <laughs> I went in there, stayed the night in the precinct, went to the judge. He was like, well, with your record, you're going to get a one to three. Fuck. Damn. And I talked to my lawyer, and he was like, wait, let me go in the back. And he came back. He said, if you cop out right now, you get eight months in the county. Right. Mm. Give me eight months. Eight months. I coped Six out, million. went to court Monday, got a plea, waited another month, got, you know, now, I was in Suffolk County. Oh, Suffolk County, man. Where, where you was This not was before when I went to Six Building, like five, eight years ago for DWI. <laughs> Let's fucking alcohol. Addictions, man. Fucking addiction. Demons. Are you straight Demons. now, man? Or did you, you don't fuck with that shit no more? Yeah, I'm good. I have a beer, too. Yeah. 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 Smoke that weed. Cocaine oil. The Philly Point <laughs> King have left the building. Really? I could talk on it, but when I'm around Reggie and Meth. Yeah, that... Yo, I that, smoke that shit. I be like, uh, all tired and shit. I'm like, yo, that shit is not fun. The, Twenty years ago, I was the Philly Blunt King. Right. The Philly Blunt King has left the building. Yo, internet. Let's go to a break, man. We got Keith Murray, <laughs> the most beautifulest in the building. Stay tuned. F your radio, F your TV show, and F your podcast. Be right back. Chit chit. Internets. This portion of the Combat Jack Show is brought to you by Bevel, the first and only shaving system designed specifically for coarse, curly hair and sensitive skin. Start shaving smart and say goodbye to razor bumps with Bevel. It's cuffing season. The weather's getting nippy outside. You got to pay some more money for your heating bills. And you need somebody to boo up, hug up with Netflix and chill. And while you're doing that Netflix and chill, understand that these candidates outside, these fine little things that, that, that that's looking for somebody to cuff up with they're not looking for these razor bumps and open sores all up on your neck and the back of your face if you shave with bevel you will have the smoothest skin trust me i've been i've been rocking with bevel now for over a year not nary a razor bump get booed up it's cuffing season make sure that you are the prime candidate for some of that sweet meat during these upcoming cold winter months now this is what i was trying to tell you earlier and here's a special offer for the first 400 people who go to GetBevel.com and use the offer code FREECOMBAT, F-R-E-E-C-O-M-B-A-T, you'll get your first month of Bevel for free. Your first month of Bevel for free. Not 20%, not 10%, not 5% off. Your first month of Bevel for free. Go to GetBevel.com, G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L.com, punch in the promo code FREECOMBAT, F-R-E-E-C-O-M-B-A-T, and get that first month of Bevel for free 99. Stop playing around, close up them sores, get rid of them razor bumps, cuff up, and shave like a boss. And now back to the show. Internets, you tune into the Combat Jack show. We got Keith Murray in the building. Yo, Keith, man, let's get, get into your music, man. I think it's so ironic that on the second Mary J Mary J Blige album, My Life. You're the first cat on that intro on that on that skit. Check this word is boo That's that spitting on the who your shot your track. Back, chest, arms, and legs. legs. Like when I'm I, coming through, gave your cranium full alternatum, son. I phase of subterranean. Is it crazy that you was on the original blueprint of who shot you and then ended up on the I shot your record? Well, 
Yeah, that's very interesting. Is that a coincidence or is that? Yeah, no, it was designed. Right. Because Puffy would always call me mm -hmm. to do the remix. Like I did to Be Happy mm -hmm. and I was friends with Biggie. Right. So when he called me to do the Mary J record again, I said, all right, cool. So I went, I was in the studio. I the did Daddy's it. House? Yeah. I did it. Mary J was there. No, was it wasn't Daddy's house. It okay. was another studio before that. And Nashim had done the track, right? Um, I believe Nashim so. did the he did the Who Shot Your track. Yeah, I believe so. Right. So shout out to Nashim. He's dope. So and then um Biggie was gonna be on there too. Right. On the on that on that inter on that in the record for Mary J. Right, Lodge. right, right. So Puffy took the record, gave it to Biggie. And chopped it and put me on the Mary J. Blige interlude. Ah, uh, so y'all was on the record together? Yes. Damn. We was slated to be. Right. I did my verse. Mary was in the studio. Me, Mary, and Puffy was there. So right. Biggie wasn't there in the studio at that time. This is for the Who Shot Ya yeah. track. It wasn't called Who Shot Ya. I know, I know. It was Mary. Right, right. Then I heard the record Who Shot Ya. And I was like, oh, because... I heard when Tay we was on tour and I heard Puffy talking to Biggie like, yo, you finished writing that record? And Biggie was like, he just said, nah, like that. <laughs> That's how he was. And I was like, yeah. looking like, word. Y'all talk about that record? Come to think about it, it was that record. Damn. But yeah, it's all love. I'm not mad he took me off and put me on Mary. Yeah. He put me on Be Happy. That was one of I mean, my that, that, biggest that, fucking records. That's a, that's a good check. Yeah, and then I understood why he took it off because he had to. The, right. the fucking beat was dope. He had to give it to Biggie. Yo. Then, but the <laughs> original with me and Biggie's on the internet now. You, the whole thing? The whole record. The whole thing's so on anybody the... can go in there and punch up Keith Murray and Biggie Smalls, who shot you, and it's on there now. The reason I bring that up also, man, is because, because of your unorthodox flow. That's a, that's a perfect track for you, man. What does that really mean, unorthodox flow? You got a unique... somebody commentated, my son commentated <laughs> on the battle. He was like, well, Keith Murray got an unorthodox flow. And I'm like, what does that really mean? I mean, I would say if if I was a boxing commentator, most people fight with their, their you know, their rights. You're right. You're like a southpaw. You're right, come back, Jack. I got this fucking sinus infection. Or, goat. or something, man. Pepper steak. Something, man, pepper steak. But yeah, man, that's like the... That's like the illest track for you, man. Oh, you mean unorthodox, meaning that just that, like the like when you when like you first out of the norm. when you first heard that track, didn't you say to yourself, "This is the most illest shit I heard." I shot you. Yeah, the Ooh. track, the track itself. No, doom, no, not really. Doom, I just went doom, and doom, doom. the any beat. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. I heard it, but I really didn't hear it. Right. I just was in there like Mary in the J. Zone. Blige, like right. puffy. I right, give me the microphone. Right, right, right. So you wasn't even focused on the track. Uh, uh I normally don't. Right. Eric Sermon is the beat selector. So you just black out. Yeah. Yo, what was your relationship like with Biggie? Well, we would, I would go to Brooklyn, jump out on the corner when these days to be on the corner, and Biggie's like, "Hey, this is a nice surprise." We was on the road. We used to talk with Gemini's. You should pick. Are you a Gemini? Yeah. So you you crazy too. That's I mean, what they say. We, we know you crazy, but you crazy, right? I ain't crazy. It's just crazy too, is as crazy, crazy does. does. <laughs> You've done some crazy, though. I don't understand. <laughs> I've never done nothing crazy. Like, could you be specific? Um, Reggie? <laughs> ask them Def Jam execs if you've done something. Yeah, that's crazy, too, Def Jam. I never went in no building at Def Jam okay. and did anything to anybody. Right. Hands, paws, feet, nothing? Nothing. Razors, Nowhere razors. in Def Jam. Where's the Razor Cons at that time? Where were they? <laughs> All of them. Razor Cons was probably like um, eight, nine years. Um, Before that? Nullified. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got blacklisted. And, I did? And, and, and didn't you like after some shit like that? If they if, tried to right. like give me a black cloud, but people got it misconstrued. I did not go into Def Jam and do anything to anybody. Right. So, but this you, was something that happened in Texas with a street dude I used to hang out with. Right. He ran the street uh, promotions at I Def would Jam. Let him go to the hotel, live in my hotel, give him clothes and everything. So I was like, yo, why every show I go to, Keith Murray has no posters. Mm. He has no promotional items. I see every other artist 
And I'm basically headlining it. I'm bringing down the house every night. And he's marketing for Def Jam. And he's my, I feed him, give him money, clothes, and everything. <laughs> like, you would have me as a priority. So we went outside, all words got exchanged, and it was just a little fisticuff. But he went back to Human Resources and said he that. strapped on the neck I brace. Did mm. That was another dude. Okay. Sam Crespo. I don't know where he Sam was Crespo? Yeah. Damn. He went, like, all right, cool. We was playing around. I choked Slap him. Slap boxing? Or? No, I choked him. He said we were playing around. Playing he, around. I can't, for real, I, I, can't, I, I can't breathe. God. Did he say I can't breathe? I can't no, breathe. I don't know if I, I applied pressure, I but this breathe. was, he went back like three breathe. after the Texas thing. <laughs> right. He went with the street dude. This was like four months after I was So the, them niggas teamed up. They teamed up on me and went back and lied. And he put on the neck brace. And then Leo was like, did you have a fight with one of them? <laughs> yeah. I said, now, you got to do a better Leo voice in there. Nah, I can't really do a Leo I voice. I think you can. Nah, I Okay, actually, okay, okay, okay. Keith, are you, you out can. here? Are you out here? I think you can premium. <laughs> no, that sounds like Arnold. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, Keith, yeah. I, did you fight with my representatives? To give him neck brace. <laughs> I said, I didn't know he had the neck brace or he was said he was hurt to that extent. I didn't even know about Sam Crespo. I just knew about AV. Right. That I did have a fist in Touch him up him. a little bit. Yeah, because we was drinking. <laughs> right. And words got, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you, Fucking fuck apple. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, you know, what's good? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, if you ever slap box back in the day, like, I remember slap box, and then, you know, if everything's all cool and smooth. Yeah, but if somebody hits you with a stinger, open hand, every, so everyone hits you with a, hand. somebody hits you with a stinger, then it, all of a sudden it becomes fucking real. Yeah, what happened? They went and got money from the company, Human Resources, and it was like, and Sam Crespo, he straight lied. I swear on everything right. I love and don't love. He lied. But that's you know. Did that fuck? Did, did that change the tie, your tie though? In terms of like, it fucked up eight million dollars. Damn. Yeah, I had a, a, I had a two million dollar deal with five options, right. four options. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Leo and Kevin Lows, uh suspended me from the universe. I got expelled. Damn. And I, and that universe. was the deal you got when you came out. Came home. You came home and had a couple of million dollars. Yeah. How I, was that, man? Coming by out, the grace of God. Coming out, and then your lifestyle is different from what it was before. It was you always out. the same, though. Right. I was always making money. I didn't have nothing. I had more money when I signed the check, right? But I still had the same lifestyle, the same cars, the same accolades, money coming in with a bank account. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was a lot really different. I just had more money to spend, more money to give to my family, and more money to give away, and which I did. So let's go back, man. So we talked about you being on the Who Shot You track. Did you ever find it coincidental that you ended up on the I Shot You track? Or was that, did they say, you know what? Wait, I think I did I Shot You before Who Shot You. Really? Yeah. Okay. I did that before that. That's crazy. Is it, And that's coincidence, right? No. LL Cool J in the, um, I'm friends with LL Cool J, yeah. and the track masters mm -hmm. called me in and be like, yo, um, we want you to do this record. We don't know who's going to be on the record, but we know we want you to start it off. Because I was already working with LL Cool J. Right. So his producer. What was you doing with LL? I did the um, record on my album, um, Incredible. Then I did um, Mr. Smith, a hook on his mm -hmm. album and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we was like always friends and stuff. Right. And Eric Sermon is friends with him. That's how I really know all these people. Right, through, right, Eric right. through Eric Sermon, of course. Because yeah. so they go back. People, yeah. people forget that L goes back with, 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 mm -hmm. with EPMD. Yeah. Slow down, baby. When him and Paris yep. was going Rampage. At it, yep. On Rampage. And Paris was going at it on that record. Yo, it's You and your squad better <laughs> praise the real God. Yeah. He was going at <laughs> it's it. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Yo, um, it's, it's cr yo, how at one point, man, everybody wanted Keith Murray on their record, man. Yeah, that was dope. Did you have to turn down some shit that you regret? Nah, I did everything. You did everything. Basically, you did everything. What was one of your favorite? What was some of your favorite joints that you did? The Mary J. Blige. Mm. That changed my life. Right. Mm. R. Kelly. R. Oh, Kelly was. Oh. A mm. That shit to this day. This is Still rocking. Yeah. I hear R. Kelly on tour doing my verse. <laughs> he needs to call you out. 
That 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 always was one of my favorite tracks. Just the the intro, the yeah, way you yeah, come in on I that pause. I'd be telling them reach out to R. Kelly, but I don't know. I mean, I, they try, but I'm like, yo. But I came home, he was putting putting me on. Right. I came and did the garden with him, a couple of things like that. But I'm like, yo, I would kill that talk. You you did that with him, or you sent him over your verse? You in the studio? I did with- it at Jive. Jive hooked it up. Because oh. I had the A and R Kenyatta, and he was on Jive. Kenyatta, Kenyatta, mm. yeah, Kenyatta yeah, Bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so they called and was like, "Yo, do it." I went and did it. Then I did some crazy shit on it. They was like, "Well, we want you to tone down your lyrics because it's gonna be a radio record." So I did it over. What would what, you say initially, man? You remember? I just was wilding. Right. It's going to be a party it. tonight. I didn't say that at first. No, I know, but I'm saying the, you the say final if, version. You... I can't remember at first, but I know they made me change a lot of it. Right. Then they was like, yo, it's going to be a record for the radio, and it's a party record. Then I came back like, for real, change my lyrics and all that shit. And I sat there, I was like, it's going to be a party, y'all. <laughs> Keep Bobby Rock's watch. And I was like, oh, shit, look, Goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> yo, um... What's, what's ironic, man, is you ran with Biggie, but you was also really cool with Tupac. Well, yeah, I was cool with Tupac. The first time I met Tupac was at a Puffy party. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I was from the block. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I loved all these dudes. MC Ren, NWA, mm-hmm. Ice Cube, Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg. And I'm good friends with Corrupt, too. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I saw... um. Tupac, I was like, yo, you the shit. He was like, no, you the shit. Wow. I had that one record, Hostile. Mm. He was like, no, you the shit. So we became friends. And then the record, I Shot, I shot you, you, came out. Right. Pop got shot. And then Biggie came out, who shot you? Right. So we was in LA. I was like, what up, Pop? Shook his hand, walked away. Was it different? Was it a different type of handshake? Was it a little... Nah, right. <clears throat> I, I didn't see it different. Right, right, right. I just was like, what up, Pac? Oh, shit. Not even thinking. Not thinking, because <clears throat> the love I had for him. Right. Then I walked away. Then his man came to me, bodyguard dude. Like, uh, his man, I don't know his bodyguard or nothing, but he had on a burgundy army jacket. So I knew he was a blood. <laughs> right. You don't rock colors like that. He was like, yo, my homeboy want to know if you talking about him on that record. So, some, 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 like, on some aggressive I shit? Said, no, nah, he was smooth. The right. niggas is smooth over there. They ain't like aggressive, but they they told like he was like, "Yo, yeah, my homeboy want to know <laughs> if you was talking about him on that right." <laughs> so you didn't two like, piece him. Nah, I was baffled. Right. Like, who's your homeboy? Because I'm in the house. Like, okay, uh, you know, we got knives on us and everything. Right. I'm like, okay, who your homeboy? Let's, let's get this over with. He said, "Pac." I was like, "Pac." I just saw Pac. He didn't say nothing to me. Right. So Pac walked over, and then people started looking at us. You see the crowd dispersing. It was a packed floor. Then Red Man was on the ledge. He saw it. I seen Red Man jump down, oh, come word. over there. Then my homeboys start coming. They homeboys start coming. Then Pac was like, Pac, what are you talking about? I just saw you, and you ain't saying nothing to me. Right. He said, nah, because I got shot five times. Uh, I don't know who's who no more, right, Murray. Right, right, right. I was right. like, nah, I love you, B. And at that time, I was beefing with Prodigy. I said, I'm on, I shot you with record with Prodigy. I don't even rock with him like that. Right, 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 They right. put Prodigy, Fat Joe, Foxy Brown on the record. I don't right. even thought it was me, me and LL Cool J. Right, right, right. They didn't, I didn't know. So Pac was like, nah, it's cool. I ain't riding on you. I just wanted to know. Right. And he put his arm between his man, and I shook his arm. I was like, "I, right, I got love for you. That's that's dope. And man. we hugged. That was that. People made it out to something that wasn't on the right. internet because I said, yeah, I squared off with him. And they put, oh, Keith Murray said he fought pop. No, no, I just you squared that shit out. Yeah. And it's crazy. No, it was like we were squared off. Right, right. Like, it was tense. tense. And right. then it got calmed down. Because Pac is a Gemini, too. Right. When I mean, we will. We and, 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 and Big was a Gemini. Yeah. Yo, what was your last conversation with Big, man? My last... Oh, shit. You fucking me up right now. My last conversation with Big, we was in L.A. We was at the hotel. Le- Le- Mondrian? Le- Le- Mondrian, right. Yeah. So we was That at the weekend? Hotel. That week? The day before he got Fuck. killed. He came to L.A., shipped his Jeep there. Mm-hmm. He came to the hotel to see Death Squad, me, Reggie, and Eric, because we friends. So, Redman wasn't there. 
I don't even think Eric was there. Eric might have been in his room. He probably went and saw Eric. I'm not sure. He didn't even come in. Seeds came in. And I came outside, sat in the car, talking like we talking for a good couple of hours. And he was like, yo, I got a show in London. You think I should go? A show. I said, yo, big, you know niggas out here don't like you right now. And this is when niggas was doing walk by right. with AK. Mm -hmm. They walk by your house, your porch, spray your spray, ass. Spray your grandma. And walk off. Right. Like, yo, you know they don't like you out here, man. I think it's a good thing if you go to uh, London. So it was the party, uh, you know, the infamous party now. Yeah. Dev Squad was going to go. We didn't even go to the party. You know what I'm saying? And it was Soul Train's Awards. Right. We didn't even go. So I was in my room, sleep, because we was probably recording that night. I was asleep. Eric knocking on my door. Boom, boom. I didn't know it was E. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck is this, police? What the fuck is going on? So I crept to the door. I looked through the people. It was E. I opened the door real quick because it was like an emergency. He was like, yo, they killed your boy. Come on, man. I said, who are you talking about? To be killed big. I was like, get the fuck out of here. And I was in that car on that side. If I done went to that party with them, I'd have been like, yo, I'm jumping in with y'all. Right, right, right. I'm out. That's crazy. You know, let's 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 wrap this up, man. But you know, one of the things is that that you talked about um that stood out to me is the last time you was really incarcerated, you did three years. Right? And you feel that that's a bid that, that you shouldn't have done. Like, the, out of all the shit you did, that's the one that you shouldn't have been involved in. Yeah, that's karma for your ass. I, I was about to say, yeah. Because I didn't do nothing that they said I did. Right. I'm a ringleader. I was a ringleader. I packed the van up, 20 niggas, went to New Britain, Connecticut, and was out there at the show. And then the fight broke out. I was outside the club at the time. Right. And I'm looking inside the door. But I see it's LOD. They running this way. Niggas running that way. Niggas fighting. I'm like, what the fuck is they doing in there? I ain't even get on stage yet. Shutting it down. Wu-Tang was there. It was a whole bunch of groups. And I hear, like, Ghost Race on the mic. Yo, yo, y'all cut that shit out over there. <laughs> so I'm going back into the club <laughs> to be like, yo, chill. Let me get the bread and perform. They didn't even pay me that night. Damn. So. So this is a, a night of just L's, my nigga. Mayhem L's. And I'm like, damn, but we all get out. I didn't even go back because the promoters picked me up in Long Island. Right. Drove me there. We all had to scatter and find our own way back home. Right. It was crazy. It was crazy. So I eventually, I took a cab. From New Britain, Connecticut, and paid like two hundred and fifty dollars. That's another L. Back. So you just L's on L's on L's. But I was making money though. Right, so right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It right. didn't matter. But I didn't. I thought it was like okay, cool. Niggas right. got away. It was cool. I went to another show right. out there. Did the show. Next thing you know, motherfuckers come to Keith. I went to the airport the next morning, and I'm by myself going to another show. And next thing you know, the cop comes with a dog. And I'm charging my phone sitting there. The only black nigga in there. Right. He come right to me, Keith Murray. I'm like, yeah, I'm Keith Murray. Why was up? Because mind you, I'm not thinking nothing happened. Right, because you're not, you, you wasn't part of it. Nigga, you arrested for assault in the first degree. I'm like, Fuck. Well, what? Then the story started unfolding. And I'm like, oh, word. And you I knew you was innocent. You I'm, knew you I'm was going to escape. You right. cannot plead, put this on me. Right. Because I beat charges when I did shit. Right. I know I ain't do shit. Right. And them people started coming out there lying on me like a motherfucker. I saw him do this and I saw him do Black, that. Black, white, green, purple, you name it. They was there. And come to find out the promoter paid the money to lie on me. Because he didn't want to pay you or? He didn't pay anyone to pay me. I couldn't find a nigga when they was right. fighting. Right. I had to scatter. I didn't even collect. Right, right. But he paid the money. To lie on me. Jive what? paid 65000 uh, in the lawsuit. I see what you're saying. Because they sued me. Right. Yeah, civil suit. Right. And I was advised by a lawyer. I had a lawyer in Long Island that referred me to a lawyer. This lawyer father was the real lawyer, but he put his son on a case. Mm. And I'm like, okay, you're going to guide it. Your son is going to be on a case. I, I got witnesses. I know the story. I know how to conflict it myself. I could have lawyered the case. Right. 
The nigga came back. The judge looked up the paper, and it was backwards. So I read guilty before the judge did. Oh. I'm like, oh, oh my god, this can't be happening. Yo, were you bitter at that? Bitter. I was pissed the fuck off. Right. But then I got a e bailed me out. Appealed. I appealed. I appealed. Every time I got locked up, every sermon would come to the priest and get me. That's dope. Appealed. 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 And then I that's a, that's, my a lot, that's a lot of bread, man. It's a lot of bread. Right. He spent a lot of bread. Right. But remember, Eric Sermon made a lot of bread. For right. Me, right. 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 But so it was you know, like thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand. But you know, you, you bail me out, you get the money back. Right. Exactly. Get, that's an advance. And he bond me out. And yeah. He didn't get that money back. Yeah. But yeah, he's always been nice to me and stuff like that, like that. Even when I wasn't making money, even you know what I'm saying. But still, they came back guilty. I was like, I don't believe this shit. <laughs> yo, sends me to five years. The judge was like, Yo, I didn't see you when the testimonies. I didn't see you at the scene of the crime. The victim that got hurt was like, Yo, I didn't see Keith Murray around when I got hurt. They was like, He said, Since that, I'm gonna take two years off. You gotta do thirty six. But how'd you do time? Because you were the ringleader. And the DA said, I can't prosecute people that I don't know. Right. So I'm not going to be like, yo, it was this person, that person, and then they're fighting. But they, they, they could, the jury convicted me the from jury. the testimony. That's crazy, man. Word. That's crazy. To this day, man, does that, does that eat at you, man? Nah, I let it go. Because right. I know that I could have been dead a long time ago from shit I did. I could have got, wow, way more time than that. Right. But shit I did, you cut your... Losses and count. Yo, you you real smart with that, man. Like a lot of people, even though they do a lot of shit, they don't even they're not even accountable for the shit they did. So I when so when, when my grandparents, so when my life gets at them, they're yeah. like, "Yo, this wasn't supposed to happen to me." Yeah. But you kind of owning up to that shit. That's amazing, man. Yeah, you have to right. Come on, out of the laws of all existence, you follow it or it breaks you. Internet. This portion of the Combat Jack show is brought to you by Uber. That's right, the app that's basically made it possible for me to use my smartphone to get around NYC these last couple of years is now sponsoring the Combat Jack show. As it starts to get cold outside, Internet, it's time for you to start looking at these opportunities where you can make some money on the books. And there aren't much better ones than this opportunity for driving with Uber. Why is that? Because when you drive for Uber, you're basically your own boss. You work seven days a week, fine. You only want to work Monday nights and Wednesday afternoons, fine. You only want to work a two-hour shift, no problemo. When you work and how long you work is on you. How many other jobs can you say that about without a boss mouth breathing down your neck? This is the type of flexibility you can't get anywhere else. All you need is a car, a clean car internet, and a license, a valid driver's license. All you do is get in your car, Turn on your Uber app and you're working. It's literally that easy. No bosses, no timesheets, no vacation requests. No one looking over your shoulder. No one breathing down your back. Doesn't that sound better than how you're getting paid right now? If this sounds as good to you as it sounds to me, then start earning serious money today. Sign up to drive with Uber. Visit drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com today. And now back to the show. So let's go back to this battle, man. Like, like, how are you doing? What are you doing to prepare for this? October fourth. I prepared October 4th. for a year for this shit. Push ups. But I'm giving. Uh, yeah, I'll be working out and stuff. But I got a chair right now, working out because I, I can't overexert. You look myself. like you're in great shape, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. How's how's your health? Top top. Yeah, I went to the doctors the other day, and you know, at our age, we got to get work done. So, you drinking like, smoothies? Yeah, I drink smoothies and all. While a uh, significant other is a real health buff, so she get all the drinks, the green drinks. Yo, before we, uh, you know, go back to the battle and end this, I, I do want to ask you, like, uh, one is, uh, what's your thoughts on, like, battle rap? Is, like, a people like a uh, Load of Lux and, like, a uh, Murder Mook, but more importantly... Calico. Calico. But more importantly, where where is... I mean, I know you got this battle coming up, but I'm saying, where where is battle rap in the realm of hip-hop still in 2015? Besides your battle, you know what I mean? In the realm of hip-hop? Yeah, like, no, I mean, like... In the right realm of hip-hop, I understand, but not yeah. professional recording uh, level, but in the realm of hip-hop. It is a part of hip-hop, and it's saving the culture. Right now, battle rap is the only it's thing big. popping. It's big. The radio ain't popping It's cash like that. money. Niggas is paying cash money. If you money. listen to New York radio, it sound like down south. Yep. Mm -hmm. Niggas is making money, getting the recognition, and preserving the culture of metaphors. 
I'm a metaphorical dude. That's another thing. Fredro ain't a metaphorical genius. You know what I'm saying? He can't put two and two together and make four. He come up with like three. <laughs> three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> two and two quarters. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, what'd you think of this recent he thing? He said, I'll pop off. I'll put that on everything. Hot sauce. Get the yeah, that, fuck out of here. This battle would have been a... Uh, this, uh, I put that shit on everything. <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> this battle would have been a better fight. Like, you know, like Keith Murray versus Fredro would have been a better fight than a battle. Nah, Fredro can't fuck with me no fight. Nah, I'm nah a but for physical real. physical combat nigga. For real though He talk about doing shit I actually put the gloves on And we'll go in the ring And fight with you I would I'll take a fight after this A boxing fight with him Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see that But for real though What do you think about Wilder You Rocks? a lawyer Get the law, get the contacts <laughs> Reggie from Combat Jack <laughs> Show is my lawyer <laughs> He's gonna be the Don King No but what do you think about Wilder Lux Like some of these battle rappers Like Murder Mook Like Calico Like oh, what yeah, do you think I about these dudes your, um, Question um, I like them. I've seen where they came from. They made a progression. It uh, shows that, you know, Loaded Lux last battle, I thought he was going to deliver against Murder Mook, but Murder Mook shut him down. Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. He didn't come prepared? Yeah. Wow. I still, did a show was... with uh, Loaded Lux in um, Central Park right. like, this last summer. That's crazy. Yo, what'd you think about the recent situation with uh, Drake and, uh, and Meek? Now, that is rather unique right. because Meek is from the streets of battling, talking shit on record. Mm -hmm. I figured that, see, but Drake took a lot of beating coming up. Right. Like, oh, everybody was at his neck, this and this and this. And I figured he was like, yo, I'm tired of these niggas. <laughs> I'm not taking it no more. The next nigga put his hands on me. <laughs> I'm fucking them up. So I guess that was the case. And then he was like, you getting body by a singing nigga. Ba -da 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 -da. I did another one. Did another one. Yeah, and Meek Still was nowhere about the... his sister came on. Yo, you saw that shit? His sister was his ill. His sister was <laughs> ill. I mean, like, damn. She should have gave Meek that ride. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. So, yo, but Meek was like, yo, I'm not going to get in no trouble over this nigga, this fake battle rap shit. But you're on wax. I like Meek. I seen Meek at the 4040. He told me, yo, I like your shit. Took a picture. Put it on Instagram. Cool. His right. boys. Yeah. Philly. I love Philly. Philly loves Keith Murray. But and on that record, I was waiting for him to be like, where I'm at, I'm right here. Yo. You know what I'm saying? He was killing niggas. Yes. Look, goosebumps. He was killing niggas in Philly on the DVD. I watched all his shit. I don't miss nothing. Drake came back I'm like out of nowhere. Like, nigga, you don't say I write my own rhymes, nigga. You getting bodied. Like, damn, then he started doing the festivals, putting them up on the screen. Like, I think that Meek this Canada. I'm not sure, but I heard, I seen the, at Carabana. They was like, yo, Meek Millie need to take a seat. And ah, before we jump this way at all. <laughs> that's because that's cause, cause, cause Drake. It was like 50,000 people out there like, yo, if you with me, make some noise. It was, it was like the whole fucking half of the black continent. Was like, yo, fuck that nigga. I'm like, yo. Crazy. He dis he said something about Canada. Mm. Don't diss the people if you battling a nigga. Right, right. Don't 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 you, do that's bad. The, the man was like, You're not welcome in Canada. <laughs> I was like, Nah, I could do my Leo voice, but I didn't want to mock. Nah, nah, let me hear it then. Huh? No, nah, no, nah, let me hear it then. I could do you. No, 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 no. That that sounded like Yo, this is crazy. I could, I could do you. I mean, yeah. pause. Yeah, yeah. Good, that's good, good pause. That's a good pause. Yeah. Yeah, let yeah. me hear the fucking Leo voice. Let me hear the fucking Leo voice. Yo, yo, Come on, um, premium. Um, what, <laughs> what are the? Yeah, he be like, no, no, I can't. I ain't got to do it. Throughout your whole career, throughout your whole life man what are some of the best battles you observe watched yeah like the ones we know of like the oh motherfucking um that nigga big t nice mm -hmm. he's nice and um i like i like that see i like that, that murder mook and solomon because murder mook murdered that nigga mm. but the good battles was murder mook and lux when mm. they was in the park yo and Sirius Jones and Murder Mook when they was in the hallway. Mm. They was going crazy. What about LL oh, and Cannabis? Oh, my man Charlie Clips be going nuts. Oh, on wax? Yeah, LL Cannabis. I liked it, that motherfucking Busy B and Kumo D. Yeah, that's a, mm -hmm. take He's that like, bod. listen, Busy B, <laughs> take I that don't bod. need to be bold. Take that bod, did it die, bullshit back home, yo. What? These kids don't know this shit. shit. 
goosebumps. What'd you think about the Ellen? I mean, the Jay and Nas joint. Oh, that was murderous on wax on what? They delivered. That's that's crazy. That shit was entertaining like a motherfucker. That's what did crazy. you like better, um, Ether or Takeover? With the uh, the NAS, that's my homeboy, but Hove is my man too. But that takeover was mean. That shit was mean. That shit was mean. That shit was mean. You was you wasn't supposed to come back after that. I know, but the ether was just like I'm a knowledge dude. Like yeah, yeah. he said, Nas said I killed him with knowledge. Like yeah, yeah, you right. The motherfuckers is gonna argue about that shit till the sun. Because you know why out. too? Nas was kind of picked on, and right. I'm like the dude. I don't start shit, but I I'm finish, finish it. Finish yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Tell us where they could find information on this battle, man. Well, you can find information on my page, Keith Murray uh, Rap, at uh, Twitter, Keith Murray Instagram, Keith Murray Facebook, and um, it's October 4th in Brooklyn. It's at a spot called Milk River. Milk River, right around the corner from where I live, man. All right, cool. Right around the corner from where I'm from. Yep. After it's parties at Combats. It's yep. in Brooklyn, baby. Cheer. And so I, your and name is Combat Jack? Combat Jack, yes, sir. Oh, okay. I thought the show was the Combat well, Jack show. Well, it's and a your name is Reggie. <laughs> well, that too. I'm Reggie, <laughs> a.k.a. Combat Jack. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Um, what's the outcome, man? What's going to be the outcome of that, man? Like when, oh, yeah, when, it's when, the beats. When it's the beats. It's the beats. It's to three beats. Three beats. Two verses per beat. Right. They want to do 16s. I'm like, yo, do unlimited. Right, 16 bars. But they rhyme and they, they pick the beat. Mm-hmm. For you. Okay. So my fans is going to be like, they got Keith Murray rhyming on this fat shit when he's doing it, running the marathon lyrically. Right, right, right. It's fast. Right. But I'm hugging the rhythm, so. Right. so you don't even know what the beats are going to be until Yeah, I got get, the beats. I had the beats, beats for a year when uh, fucking it's the same beats. MC Wall pump fake. Right. I was cocked and loaded. Right, right, right. Tight here right now. They pump fake like a motherfucker to feed you online. Yo, what, what you going to do uh, if uh, Fredro bodies you, man? Come to think of it, I have a Heineken. <laughs> Yo, could you bring out any props while you're battling? Could you like bring somebody or people yeah, with you? Yes, props. Yeah, you I should bring Charlemagne with you. No props. You should bring Charlemagne with you. Just let him stand there on <laughs> the side of no you. no props. Yeah, yo. Um, before you go, man. Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah. Why? Just let him stand there on the side of you while you're battling. Who's Charlemagne? The, the breakfast from club. the breakfast club. Oh, what? Yeah, just let him stand I by know you. Charlotte don't worry is, about. It. Just but let I don't him. Know if I can be bring out Pete and Pete. Other names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, um. Premium what's, P. What's 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 the what's the old rap you have for um for for homeboy for the bat for the battle from last year? It's kind of like the same raps. I just like improved it. Right. But I I I, I said some stuff. I always got rhymes. I could spit rhymes right now. Just throw his name in the middle of it. You think the, is the old shit? Won't you, won't you give us a little something, man? What of the battle? Yeah. No, nah, I can't do that. A little preview. A little. Uh uh-uh. uh. You're not doing that. It's it's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to go to the show. I know people that's out of the states and out of the towns may not go. I think the venue only hold like a thousand people. It's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a solid venue. So it hold like a thousand people. So, you know, and the tickets is like sold out. They sold out already? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. You could come to the door and pay probably. Right, 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 right. We got a special VIP passes for us. Oh, not for y'all. You crazy? Combat <laughs> Jack and <laughs> premium. You got beef? wings, you got appetizers there? Like they wh- serve food. while we're waiting. I don't know they, if they serve, serve food. food. I've never been in there. Okay. Yo, <laughs> last thing, man. How is it, man, being with a dynasty like, you know, the, the Death Squad, man, with Red Man, who's a legend. That's crazy, because I was just talking to Tut today and he was like, Yo, you've been through a lot of shit. I was right. like, Yo, I haven't been through more shit than the average person. Right. But he was like, Your name. Right. That's pressure. You gotta you gotta be up to that. You right. gotta stand that's standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like Red Man wanted dope, on, on, on mad people's top fives, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Reggie, that's my heart. And it's dope because they drive you. Right. They keep you on your A game. We just did the B E T two thousand and fifteen hip hop awards freestyle mm. cipher on um, the other day in Brooklyn. Right. How was that? How murderous was that? Incredible. Who was in the cipher? Keith Murray Redman and Eric Sermon. That's crazy. Mm. Green Eye Bandit. That's crazy. Was it how how y'all what's the secret to y'all longevity and staying together, man? Stay in the zone. Really don't think about it. Just do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you start thinking about it, you become dated. You put dates on yourself. You become ex- extinction, level of extinction. Right. Shout out Just to, to Buster. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Buster. Just keep doing it. Just be unconscious. To, you know what I'm saying? And Just keep going. And to this day, and I know some cats are going to say it's because of my age, man, but to this day, to me, 
EPMD is the greatest duo that ever existed. Yeah, I see a lot of people being like, yo, mom, they giving it to said outcast. They, was, they was the greatest duo. Right. I'm like, greatest duo of what? <sighs> I like their music. I like their music. They, made, they had some hits. They, they, had, some, they had a lot I of like their music. They made a lot. You know EPMD. Like, and it's hard to explain you to know these kids. EPMD. But what I about, don't care what, what press, what camera you get put in your face, what microphone gets shoved. But what, but what about what about <laughs> what about when people bring up Outkast? Oh, I heard Outkast. I heard. Oh, what, I don't want to say it was Big Gip, but I think it was Big Gip. I mean, he's part. say that Outkast is more of a, a, a Hall of Fame greater group than Run DMC. Oh. Mm, nah. You got to give it to the people that created. Listen, the group EPMD when they he made said that when they made no, no. Uh, but, he, but he's from that. He's from the dungeon Andre trap. is my man. Three thousand. Right, right, right. I would take none from Outkast. I love Outkast to death. I love him, love him, love him. But at the same time, Run DMC. They they birthed all of us, me. Mm. You put a camera in a speaking device. In front of a nigga, they go crazy. Yep. Pump faking at the free <laughs> Word. But I can spit the cypher rhyme, but I can't spit the battle rhyme. Can you do that, man? Oh, uh, what did I say, Todd? You remember? I got that next level shit nostalgia futuristic. Since riding around with Reggie in the car, we sent it. Rolling with he double because that man is so relentless. And what we told you, bitches, we never quit. You know, we meant it. Murray put words together, clever, Yahtzee. I'm too cool. Arthur Fonzarelli on these potsies. <laughs> Show up to the party fresh to death to get busy. Rope a dope em. Stay on my alley. I'm the greatest. Shock of the new squad in the room. Now check how I do. Fucking drop your bitch off at sex we had with that nigga, Dr. Drew. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Adam, <Adelaide, laughs> Convex Jack Adam. Time flies crazy. The flow is still cuckoo. So Mary made green like yellow and blue. He said, I fell off. You never fell on. You don't like me, but your girl love my songs. Yeah. I could get on in that wick whack edible thongs and beat her in the head like bong, bong, bong. Bong. <laughs> <laughs> Baby need new shoes. Daddy need new shirts. He go hard all week. Sunday morning, go to church. Mm. Like, dear Lord, forgive me for all of my sins. Come Sunday evening on the streets, back at it again. I'd rather be loved for who I am than hated for who I'm not. If we talking about integrity, you know it means a lot. Once a soldier at arms, your purple heart got took. Look how I swoop his queen with my rook. Damn. This man is rah-rah, but a bad chick look like she from Nicaragua. Hit the la-la. I'm bubbling like Caliente Agua. I was born this way to rock and make the ladies them go gaga. I was born this way to rock and make the ladies them go ah. If you see blood up on my collar, squalor, that's my dinner shirt. He talking slick, going his mouth. Holler, that's my dental work. Mm. Back in the building, it's the Legion with the doom and the baddest in my effort. This side of the moon. Ah. Yo, <laughs> cheer, 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 Keith, cheer, brother, cheer, man! Thank you so much. I know you love me. Yo, yeah. excellent, man. This is great. Um, good Yo, luck. Good looking out for the beers. I nah. know I said I wasn't gonna be drinking though. Nah, no God doubt, damn. man. Just, just, just oh yeah, don't, don't drive, my nigga. I don't know. Don't, I don't drive. I get drunk. Yeah, that, 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 that the Uber, carried. Uber. Yo, Uber, some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I was in L.A. I ain't go. I'm gonna just cut this cup <laughs> short right here because we be here all night. They picked me up in a fucking hoopty. They try to say I blew their speakers out for playing my new uh, record. Damn. But my little daughter was in the car. They yeah. lied. They lied. Mm -hmm. Yo. <laughs> I, not that you need it, man, but good luck on the fourth. Thank you. Um, and well, you know there's no such thing as luck. That's true. It's fortune. It's um, fortune. Preparation. Preparation. Met with time and opportunity. Success. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Keith it's Murray. It's going to be a body, y'all. It's going to be a body, y'all. Thank you so much. Premium. Pete. Keith Murray, man. You know, it's an, an, another episode. Yo, I used to rock them shit back in the days in the 10s. Well, listen. The Russ jump on. When the Brooklyn party, you understands that. Yeah. You know, Strong rocking Island them 10s. Not most definitely. Sleeping on, they sleeping on Strong Island. Always, right? But Always. Stop, stop sleeping on, on Strong Island internet. Day La Soul. We got Rock Kim. Y'all got Public Enemy. Public Enemy. Craig Mack. Craig Mack. 
fucking Keith Murray, EPMD, K Solo, Granddaddy IU, LL was born there, Prodigy's from there. That's 10 off the top. Can't sleep on Long Island, man. That's 10 off the top. Can't. They don't let me go independent with Rugged Man R.A. Mm. Rugged Man. Rugged Man. R.A. What if I'm forgetting? We got uh, A plus. Yo, um, Ross Sun. Who else? Was was JV JVC JVC for You know what? Kirk Gazelle recorded my first demo when really? I was Keefy Key. That's crazy. Yo, JVC Force was incredible, Thanks man. From Strong oh. Island. Yeah. Hey, cooler than see out. Who the hell JV- am I? Hey, J Rock, I can fly. What? Are you crazy? JVC Force, Strong Island. Are you Yo. crazy? Yo, Yo, Keith, man. For everybody from down south. Yeah, bottom line. Listen, the internets and all of us over here at the Combat Jack Show appreciate all your contributions to hip hop. Real, real Thank talk. You. I appreciate it. Yo, internets, you know what that is, man. Dream those dreams and man up, woman up, and live those dreams because a life without dreams is black and white and the universe flows in technicolor. Dream till your dreams come true. And sound. Wait, wait, wait. You just fucked Girl, me up. You got it. Te- <laughs> you got it. Technicolor. Wait, wait, wait. Technicolor and surround sound. Blah. Blah. You know, you know. Shit, shit, shit. You know who made me make that shit up? True. Frankie Crocker. That, oh, yeah. that, that's my, that's my, that, that's, that's my how he signs oh, off. Oh, yeah. No more words of, uh, uh, Mr. Magic, Mr. be yourself or find yourself by yourself. By yourself. You know it like a poet. <laughs> Close it with the most beautiful thing. <laughs> Close it with the most beautiful thing. It's just like that. I still get in, in ya. Ya. Cheer. Pause. That's a good pause. Pause. Numenati!